Alright, so next is second source of frequency command, which is one of the best command in the drive. You can assign two frequency source. Okay. As of now, my first frequency is potentiometer. Suppose I want my second frequency source to be my PLC analog cards. Okay. So if I don't use this parameter, I have to change the parameter from the drive to change the source of frequency to AVI, then I can use that. But in case I want a selector. I want a selector switch to to quickly change from first to second source. So how we can do that? First of all, the first method is to select your second source. Now my first source is potentiometer already selected. Second source I want AVI. So that you can find in in your manual. There is a parameter 142. It's quite low. This is the second source of frequency. Here I need to set 0, 01. Let's say this should be my second source. Okay. So I will add 0, 01 in parameter 142. So this is parameter 40. I'll move to 142 and I'll add 0, 01. This is 0, 01. Okay. Now my second source has been selected. Now the question is how will you do the changeover? For that once again we have to assign the parameter to any of this function to work as second source. So let's take M4 this time. I want M4 to make my source second. Make or to, to change my source from first to second or second to first okay so this m4 has to be signed this function so I'll go back to the parameter which works for m4 which is somewhere m4 this is here okay parameter 41 this is m4 for that I will select second source of frequency 28 so we have 228 in parameter m4 this will assign the function to m4 all right so m4 is associated with parameter 41 in 41 I have 228 that's the logic 21 41 I have 128 okay so 28 is there now you have 20 years this is the first source go back to this PLC and I have to make one more M33 out Y4 because M4 is Y4 this M4 is connected to output which is Y4 so let's go to download now if I run M33 can you see it's zero zero because right now there is no uh, voltage coming from the from your card okay so let's make the logic to send the voltage from the card very quickly so this is the module one output module setup mode settings will be M1000 because we need voltage mode so this will be 0 to 10 add to list channel 2 M1000 K I can take here D0 add to list ok and ok so D0 will decide the frequency whose range is 0 to 4000 so right now this is my second source now if I change D0 to K1000 frequency is changing okay now if I turn off this M33 frequency will roll back to 20 so when you start the motor it will run at 20 20.7 20 Hertz if I select this one frequency will jump to 12.6 it will roll back to 12.6 if I turn this off it will go back to 20.7 and that's how you can select the second sort now this 20.7 can be changed from here okay it can be decreased or increased from here but when you are at second source you cannot change the frequency from here okay this will be from the card this will be changed from this card if I put K1500 frequency will be increased okay here it will be stop and this is this is the jog which is already working which we did in the last video so that's the second source of frequency and you can similarly select your second source to work as ACI terminal also or the communication from the mod bus as well so it's totally up to you which second source you want to select so you have all these sources, keypad, AVI, ACI, communication keypad. Suppose you want four source to be ACI, you go to your source of control, frequency control, put ACI, and in second source if you want keypad, put keypad, which is by default 00. zero. So you can flip over to different frequencies like that. So that was about second source of frequency, very useful. And you know, if you, you must note that if you can access D0 from your HMI, you can also put frequency from your touchscreen. That's the advantage. Okay, thank you.